Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing this related post component using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here we can see we have these three posts and uh, we also have horror effects for them. And uh, this is also completely responsive. So if I decrease the width of the browser window, this is how it will look on a smartphone. So in this video, we will just design it using HTML and CSS. And in the next video, I'll show you how to get all the data from a JavaScript array. And then I will also show you how to add this to your blogger website. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called related posts and I just opened it with VS code. And here I also have a folder called images and in that we have these three images which we're going to use in our design. So let's go ahead and start by creating an HTML file. So I'll just click on new file and I'll just name it index.html. And let's also create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css. And let's also create a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. Or let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. All right, let's link the CSS file over here. So I'll just type style.css over here in the href. And we'll also link the JavaScript file over here. So I'll just type script colon src and press tab. And here I'll just type main.js. Right now let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division. So let's create a division with the class of related posts container. And in that the first thing we need to have is this heading. So let's create an h2 for that. And let's also give it a class of related posts title. And let's type related posts. And now for these three blog posts, let's create a container division. So let's give it a class of related posts. Now for each of the posts, let's create a division with the class of related post. Now the first thing we need to have over here is the thumbnail. So let's create an anchor tag because we need to have a link for the thumbnail as well. So whenever someone clicks on the thumbnail, they should be taken to that post. So here you can add the link of the post. But now here in this anchor tag, let's create an IMG tag. And for the SRC, let's type images forward slash and I'll just select blog1.jpg. And now the next thing we need to have is this title. So for the title also we need to have an anchor tag. So let's create an anchor tag and uh, let's also give it a class. And let's set it to post title. And I'll just copy this title from here. And let's paste it over here. Right now let's go ahead and copy this division from here. And let's paste it two more times. So these are the two other posts. So for the second one let's type blog2.jpg. And here let's type blog3.jpg and let's also change the title. So I just paste the title over here. And then for the third one, let's copy this title from here. And let's paste it over here. Right now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. Right now here we can see all the elements in our design are displayed over here. Now let's go ahead and style it. So let's go to our style.css file. And the first thing we will do is we'll target the related post container. So let's type dot related posts container. And let's set the max width to 800 pixels. And let's also set the font family to Roboto and sans serif. And we'll also bring it to the center. So let's type margin zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. Right now, if we go back to our website, we can see that the element is in the center, but the width of the image is too much. So let's go ahead and change the width. So I'll just type related post IMG. And let's set the width of the image to 100%. And we'll also set a specific height to the image. So let's type 160 pixels. And here we'll also type object fit to cover so that it has the correct proportions. Right now let's go ahead and style this heading. So for the heading we have an H2 with a class of related posts title. So let's type related posts title. And let's set the color of the text to dark gray. And uh, we will set a margin bottom. And let's set it to 40 pixels. And we'll also set the font size to let's try 30 pixels. Let's try 24 pixels. And I think that looks all right. Right now let's add this underline. So for that we will use after selector. So let's type related posts title colon colon after. 
Now we need to position this after selector relative to this post title. So here let's type position relative. And here, first of all, we need to type content and we need to set it to blank. And uh, then let's type position and let's set it to absolute. And let's set the height of the element to two pixels. And let's set the width of the element to 100 pixels. And let's set the background color to red. And now we can see here we have the underline, but we need to bring it to the bottom of this heading. So let's go back and here let's tap left and let's set it to zero. And for the bottom, let's set the position to negative 10 pixels. And this is how it looks. Right now let's style these related posts. So here we can see we have this division with the class of related posts. So we need to have all these elements one next to the other. And for the smartphone version, we need to have all of these one below the other. So let's go ahead and type related posts. And let's set the display to grid. And we'll set the grid template columns to 1FR, 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 which means three columns with the same width. And let's also give it a gap of 20 pixels. And now if you go back, you can see we have these three posts, one next to the other. Now let's also add a media query. So here I'll just type at media. And let's set the max width to 640 pixels. So when the screen size is less than 640 pixels, all the CSS in this block will be added to our design. So here let's type related posts and we'll set the grid template columns to just one FR, which means one column. So now if you go back to our website and if I decrease the width of the browser window, here we can see all these elements are one below the other. Now here we'll also set a max width for the smartphone version. So here we can see we have set a max width of 800 pixels. So I'll just copy this selector from here and uh, let's paste it over here. And here I'll just set the max width to, let's try 400 pixels. So this is how it looks. Right now let's style all these elements inside the blog post. So the first thing we will do is uh, we will add a box shadow. So here let's type related post and uh, let's set the box shadow to 0, 4 pixels, 12 pixels, negative 2 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.2. Right now if you go back to the website, here we can see that we have this box shadow. Now let's also add some padding to this title. So for the title, we have this anchor tag with a class of post title. So let's style that. I'll just type related post, post title. And first of all, let's remove the underlines. So let's type text decoration to none. And let's set the color of the text to dark gray. And uh, let's set the font size to 18 pixels. And let's also add some padding. So let's set the padding to 16 pixels. Now here we can see that the padding for the top and bottom are not added. So that's because uh, the post title, which is the anchor tag is inline element by default. So for that, you have to go over here and type display of inline block. Now here we can see we have the correct padding. Let's also add some line height. So let's type line height. And let's set the line height to 1.6. And we'll also set the font weight to bold. So let's type font weight bold. Right now, the last thing we will do is we will add the hover effect. So let's go back. And here for the related post, let's type related post colon hover and when we hover over this let's type transform scale and we'll set it to 1.01 and we'll also change the box shadow a little bit so let's copy this code and let's paste it over here and here for the related post i'll just change this to minus four pixels and here we'll just keep it to minus two pixels and we'll also have a smooth transition so let's type transition and let's set it to all 500 milliseconds ease. And now let's go back. And now we can see that the hover effect is working all right. I think we can change it to 1.02. And now it looks all right. So with that, we have completed designing the related post component. In the next video, I'll show you how to get all these details from a JavaScript array. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.
Thank you.